<laughs> good morning. How the heck are you? Good day, good day. Yes, welcome to Roverland. Uh, I'm your friend Dano. Oh my goodness, I already bumping into the camera. Cheese balls. We're off to a good start. Hey, I've got a uh, little something, something for you today. Uh, Rover Land, the channel that's anything and everything about Land Rovers and you. No, you. Yes, that's right. Hey, come on over to Facebook. We're up over 400 members over there. Facebook page is Rover Land and Instagram. Um, yeah, having a little trouble with the Instagram lately. Uh, Rover Land channel. But anyway, talking about um, Facebook and stuff. Uh, and and comment down below if you like what you see if you don't like what you see or if you have a comment Like this fella. Yeah, this fella here gave me a little comment Brandon B. He said no. Hey Can you do a comparison on the matchbox? Land Rover Range Rover Velar and the Hot Wheels Land Rover Range Rover Velar. Oh, this is a Vogue. Excuse me. Vogue. I can read. <laughs> the Matchbox Vogue and the uh, Hot Wheels Velar. So, why not? Yes, that's what I do around here. So, uh, I just picked up some of these and uh, as you can see, this one's uh, kind of busted. Yeah, so we are got perfect candidate to open it up. So, we're going to open it up and we're going to take a look at each one of these vehicles in... Um, in their own perspective, going to open up the, uh, right away, going to open up the uh, Velar as well. Now, I picked the uh, black color because, uh, you know, we're uh, trying to compare. So, yeah, we'll compare, compare. Which one should we do first? All right, let's do this one first. <laughs> this is the Hot Wheels. Um came out I think 2019 I think it was 2018 yes and uh, this is I think the um, that's not the last variation uh, the red one which is happens to be my favorite uh, variation uh, matter of fact here hold on a second give me a flash of that BAM there's my favorite variation of this matter of fact we're gonna take a look at that uh, because that kind of shows up a little bit um, typically, basically, other than um, uh, this one having a moving parts to it, and it did uh, come with uh, real wider tires, did it not? Yes, this one, uh, the, the deluxe, uh, whatever. These are basically both beautiful, beautiful models. Just great. Uh, so let's take a look and let me give you a little spin uh, a on, on my take of these models. So here it is, the um, Range Rover. Now, this is uh, the latest and greatest uh, Velar. Uh, you know, I don't remember exactly when this body style took off, uh, but it's the latest one and uh, very, very nice. Uh, the other thing that I want to talk to you about as far as Hot Wheels goes, uh, there are some that come with light tint canopies versus a darker tint canopy. So that's kind of a neat little variation that you can uh, keep an eye out. Here's one that's very, very dark. Um, I know my buddy uh, uh, Colin La uh, Lane over in Michigan, he is really uh, striving to collect uh, a lot of these uh, variations and uh, doing a darn toot and good job. Got a spreadsheet and everything. Um, so yeah, basically this is a uh, just a beautiful model. Um, yes, if you were going to look up and why I, I don't know why we're so hard on focusing today. If you were to look up a uh, at Google the pictures of the um, Land Rover, Range Rover, Velar, this would be pretty much what you'd be looking at. Um, let's just take a peek here of this red one. Um, I like the fact that Hot Wheels does do all the, um, pretty much all the detailing here. You know, even on the front, the Velars are, uh, they have this under shroud 
that is uh, kind of got some, uh, I don't know, aerodynamic fins to them. I don't know if you can really see it. We're kind of having a problem uh, zooming in on things today, but uh, get my thumbs out of there. But as you can see on the bottom there, that uh, it, it does have a pretty neat, and, and this is what it's like on, on the actual Range Rover. Now they don't have any uh, indication uh, there for the vents down below here, but they, they have them molded in, which is pretty cool, you know. Uh, but then the lights are pretty accurate. Got the LED, the uh, squares there in the um, uh, headlights, because those are LED that square, and then the, the, the beam that comes across, that's very, uh, Range Rover or Land Rover across the hood, they don't have any different indications. I mean, there's only so much details that you can do on a 164 scale, but they do have this, and this is where um, you can't really see it in this black model, but it is painted. Yeah, there you go. Um, there is a painted stripe on this bodywork uh, that shows up on the white one, the silver one, the red one, but not so much on the black one, but a very, very accurate. Very, I like that they have this uh, accent piece underneath the um, side mirror all the way back to the rear quarter panels. Uh, once again, very, very nicely detailed. Uh, pretty accurate with the, um, the lens details and stuff like that. Uh, you know, they get kind of crazy with the, uh, the Land Rover logo there kind of gets kind of obscured, but I mean, this is 164 scale and look at the printing on that. That is just dynamite. I really like it. They do a really, real good job. Uh, this is Mattel. This is Hot Wheels. This is uh, brand new stuff. So very, very nice. I like this wheel. This is the only wheel that you can get this in so far. I can't wait till they do a real rider uh, version of it. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work, but uh, this is a very nice uh, wheel for them. Very, very nice. So excellent, excellent model, very accurate. And one of the telltale signs uh, that it's a Velar is the slooping, sloping back end here. This is um, a, a, a different body casting uh, body framework a different body than the regular Range Rover, uh, which this, as we see, oh, let's just take a look here now at the Matchbox. This is the moving part, so it's not quite, I mean, this this whole thing is not quite apples to apples because, I mean, they are Range Rovers, but they're different. This is the flagship body style. This is the bigger body style versus the sleek Range Rover sporty body styles. Now they both do still come in uh, sports, you know, but um, as you can see, the back end uh, is not as sloped as as the uh, sportier uh, Velar. So that is uh, the biggest difference there. I mean, uh, they do share a lot of characteristics, you know, um, so anyway, let's move on and take a look at the Matchbox. Uh, now this 2018 uh, Velar SE, highly um, top of the line. Once again, if you were gonna take uh, pictures of Google on this car, you would find very, very much, um, very comparable, very comparable. Uh, once again, they've painted uh, striping and things like this, a little bit more contrast. This, the uh, Velar doesn't have the Range Rover gills, shark gills, like the flagship, the big boys do. That's kind of one of the signs of a large, uh, full, full size SUV uh, from Range Rover. So, um, yeah, very cool. The other thing, the only thing that really kind of takes away is the, um, the Vogue here, these windows, and I really love it. I especially love it when they do it with the fenders. They don't have this um, indentations. Normally the, uh, what did it be, A, B, C, the C pillar and the D pillar are all smooth with the windows from the rear door all the way back. And that's a really cool look. I like that when they do that with the back end of Defenders. 
Uh, but once again, very, very nicely detailed. Um, you know, they got the uh, fin. I mean, this one even has, uh, can you see it at the bottom of the shark gill? You can see that they put a little ditty there and I'm not really sure what that says, if it says anything at all, but that's kind of a neat little add on. Now, being that this is a moving parts and it has an opening truck and I'm not gonna really force that. I mean, you can, it opens more, but this one is just brand new out of the box. Um, we do lose some of the detailing in the back here. Uh, the rubber wheel models, they do have more details. They get the side printed there, but the back does not get any treatment because we have that plastic door, which is not bad. Um, they must be, I don't know if they're CNC or uh, if they're, what do they call that, filament printed uh, because they have so much uh, vein veins in there um, or if that is a uh, casted mold piece, you know, they could do a little bit better matchbox there and, and get rid of those streak marks they almost look as bad as the streak marks on my thumbnail <laughs> you know it's just about the same but anyway but it, very nicely detailed i mean they paint this piece this piece is normally uh like opaque clear uh smoke uh but they paint it and they decal it so they put quite a bit of work in this uh piece uh just which is is really 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 kind of nice so uh, yes, this is uh, 94 cents, 90, uh, a buck. This is a buck and a half due to this rear end here. Um, Matchbox does have uh, this, you know, they do do a real rider um, one. And, you know, I don't have one sitting right here. Where? Why didn't I bring a, one over? But anyway, um, check out my video. I'll tag that video at the end. But this is commonly the um, Range Rover. If you look at the old Range Rover um, castings, this is the typical Range Rover wheel. The, the 12 spoke, I think it is, but uh, very, very nice. But uh, beautiful speckled black paint job. This is the first edition. Hopefully they'll put out another recolor. That would be awesome. But uh, very, very cool car. Uh, these both are, uh, as far as Mattel, Matchbox, and um, Hot Wheels do an excellent, excellent job at these. I really like both of them. Uh, they're really, really nice. Uh, very, very detailed uh, for, you know, dollar cars. You know, I don't know if this will ever go into the dollar range uh, with that uh, movable uh, part on it but it does get to the five dollar where they put real riders on and more details and paint but uh for you know a dollar car you know they are pretty good um, this is uh, this one's about three dollars almost almost three dollars so you know it's they're they're very very comfortable but but not you know and uh, as far as a real thing they're totally two different animals <laughs> you know one's more of a flagship the old school traditional and, and this is kind of the new school so really kind of cool all right well there you go i want to say another special thank you brandon b uh put down a comment down below uh give me a big thumbs up you guys get back out here a little bit give me a big thumbs up and uh yeah let me know which one you like better do you like the hot wheels or do you like the mattel which one yeah which one that's all right um and uh yeah make sure that you subscribe we got a lot of people that watch that don't subscribe and boy man that would really help out if you would just subscribe it's not gonna hurt it's not gonna cost you nothing but it sure does help out the channel we got big plans for 2021 so all right that's it matchbox 2018 range rover vogue se versus the hot wheels uh range rover velar head to head right here on roverland <laughs> if you want more comparisons vi videos let me know all right okay i gotta get going before i lose my voice <laughs> all right this is your friend dano saying adios uh thank you for joining me today and as always slow traffic keep right and have a great rover day